Ethiopia is among East Africa countries that have been ranked to have fertile land for a construction business to flourish. The construction industry in the region is growing and offering a green market through the various ongoing mega-projects. Hello everyone! Today we will see top 3 mega construction projects in Ethiopia that are contributing to this growth, hope you will enjoy the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our page. Number 3. Mozib Tower. The design of the Mozib Tower is unique and reflects Ethiopian culture's combination of Mizab which is an Ethiopian household utensil where food is kept. Plus the Ethiopian cultural dress. The project is being developed by the Ethiopian Ministry of Culture and Tourism. It is in the conceptual stage so the main contractor and other members of the project team are yet to be selected. The total land area for this 70-floor development is 50,000 sqm and it will be 250 meters high. The estimated cost of a half-million-dollar project would get accomplished through joint venture and fundraising with the active participation of various stakeholders including private owners, investors, institutions, state governments, party representatives, among others. The project will contribute for the development and enhancement of Ethiopian market communication. A hotel. A shopping mall. A cultural center, representative of all regions of Ethiopia. A gym. Gardens. An athletic track and. A golf club. Apart from supporting these activities, the project would possibly reflect Ethiopian cultural values and attract more tourists due to its unique design of Mizab, Ethiopians' culture of serving meal together around a round table. The project will contribute for tourism development, social well-being and employment opportunity. This original and iconic building is the first in its kind of unique innovation and will be built in public-private partnership. Number 2. Law Gare Project. Law Gare represents the dynamic downtown of Addis Ababa, boasting one of the largest mixed-use developments in Ethiopia with over 4,000 residences on the 360,000 SQM master plan provides a unique lifestyle, hospitality, retail, commercial and leisure offering within a single integrated community in the center of Addis Ababa. The estimated cost this project is $1.9 billion. The project consolidates Eagle Hill's mission of developing integrated communities in emerging markets. Located in the capital of Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, Lagare represents an integrated community comprising residential, commercial, hospitality, retail and leisure facilities in a single, secure and exclusive setting surrounding a park. The development spans an area of approximately 360,000 sqm in proximity to the Addis Bol International Airport, with a rail line running along its northern edge. Situated in the city center, Lagare is anchored by four- and five-star hotels supported by retail outlets, offices and residential buildings. The government of Ethiopia, in partnership with Eagle Hills, aims to develop a social housing component within the master plan, where residential units will be built to permanently accommodate the existing residents currently living in the project site. Lagare is a project of passion that will be developed on a land of heritage. It will be built upon the historical grounds of Lagair train station that has stood the test of time, the terminal station of the first Addis Ababa to Djibouti train line in the Horn of Africa completed in 1925 The residential towers and central commercial office buildings are arranged symmetrically around a central arrival driveway which forms the main arrival boulevard. Situated around the development perimeter, the residential towers form a large central landscaped zone, refreshing and functional for residents to live work, shop and relax within their community. Parking, circulation, arrival and drop-offs, and zoning of various components have been accommodated in a cohesive and fully efficient manner. Retail outlets open into courtyards which are shaded and landscaped in an individual manner, giving identity and distinction within the retail area itself. Lagare serves as a new commercial hub for the city, offering centrally located grade A offices and leasehold commercial property. Defined by excellent connectivity and abundant parking spaces, the commercial offices are elegantly designed and assure a prestigious address for businesses. Since its founding in 2021, Eagle Hills has realized an impressive growth plan that has seen it enter into agreements to support the redevelopment and reinvigoration of numerous cities in Africa, Eastern Europe and the Middle East. Number 1. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam formerly known as the Millennium Dam and sometimes referred to as Hydace Dam is a gravity dam on the Blue Nile River in Ethiopia under construction since 2011. 
The eventual site for the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam was identified by the United States Bureau of Reclamation in the course of the Blue Nile Survey, which was conducted between 1956 and 1964 during the reign of Emperor Haile Selassie. Due to the coup of 1974, however, the project failed to progress. The Ethiopian government surveyed the site in October 2009, August 2010 and November 2010. The dam's foundation stone was laid on April 2, 2011 by the Prime Minister Mel Zenai. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam G -E -R -D, is estimated to cost close to 5 billion US dollars. About 7% of the 2016 Ethiopian gross national product. The lack of international finance for projects on the Blue Nile River have a long been alleged to Egypt's persistent campaign to maintain presumed hegemony on the Nile water share. Ethiopia has been forced to finance the GERD with crowdfunding through internal fundraising in the form of selling bond and persuading employees to contribute a portion of their incomes. The primary purpose of the dam is electricity production to relieve Ethiopia's acute energy shortage and for electricity export to neighboring countries with an expected capacity of 6,000 megawatts. The main and saddle dams will also create reservoirs with an impounding capacity of 74 billion cubic meters. A planned installed capacity of 5.15 gigawatts, the dam will be the largest hydroelectric power plant in Africa when completed, as well as the seventh largest in the world. The dam will be capable of handling a flood of 19,370 cubic meters per second, will reduce alluvium in Sudan by 100 million cubic meters and also facilitate irrigation of around 500,000 hectares of new agricultural lands. It will also reduce approximately 40 kilometers of flooding in Sudan, upon its completion. Filling the reservoir began in July 2020. It will take between four and more years to fill with water depending on hydrologic conditions during the filling period. The second phase of filling was completed on July 19, 2021, without the agreement of Egypt and Sudan. Hope you enjoyed the video, please support our page by subscribe our channel, thank you.